All right, guys. Got a Toyota Sienna here. Got a misfire and a flashing light right there. All right, so this car is misfiring and uh, as you can see in the back, look at that. That's a sign that it's misfiring, all right? Just look at the flow of the exhaust, all right? And uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna scan this car, see what cylinder is misfiring, all right? I got my scan tool here hooked up. The light is flashing. All right. Toyota. Automatic ID. My scan tool does automatic ID. So it picked up everything, all right? So let's go into engine. Codes only, current codes. So cylinder number six is misfiring, all right? There you go. The code is 306, cylinder six misfire detected, all right? And sometimes you will not have a check engine light and what you can you do is go into data. See data right there? Go into data and check for misfire. All right, and then uh, you will have cylinders here. Cylinder number one, zero count. Cylinder number two, zero count. Three, zero count. Let's see number six. Cylinder number six, which is right here. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. It's misfiring heavy, all right, guys? So let's go take a look at number six cylinder, all right? Let's shut this off. And let me disconnect my scan tool. All right, guys. Number six cylinder. This is car has a cylinder number one back there. Two, three, four, five, six. So this car, I know a uh, lady had a problem. Uh, she had a lot of rats going in her car. And uh, they did a lot of repairs here. All right, but if you go to a regular mechanic guys, they'll do a tune-up for you. This car originally did not have a check engine. All right, they put a tape on the check engine now. You probably can back up into my videos in the record. You will see at one point, I removed the tape of the check engine because this car had a, the rats had cut the uh, knock sensor cables. So I did repair that, all right? And we no longer have the knock sensor codes, but Replace a coil. These guys must have been working really hard over here, all right? So they did replace coils here. So you see put a little bit of silicone because they cracked the connectors. That's what you call a bad mechanic there, all right? But I looked at this car already, all right, guys? Look at this. Look at the cable on the injector. It's broken, all right? The cable is broken right there, all right? So I'm going to do a quick repair there. And uh, maybe I'll solder it. I'll pull out that connector. You're not gonna be able to see me do it, but I'll do it and I'll put it back together later on. But it's gonna be a really quick fix, guys. Not a big deal there, right? You could buy another connector, put it in. If not, you could solder the same connector because you still have a little bit of a wiring left on the other end. You could solder it right there, right, guys? So I will be probably soldering this thing and uh, after that, we'll fire up the car again and let's see what happens. Solder this little connector right here. Right there, you can see a little bit of heck of a solder there. Very tight space. And I'm going to use some electrical tape. I wanted to get another connector and do soldering up here, but I was able to do it there. But let's see if I can get this thing going and then take care of it down the road. But for now, it's right there guys we did it and i'm gonna put this in and let's see what kind of output do i get but i am gonna put a little bit of electric tape on this and close this up if it 
it's so good that's it the problem is resolved if not then you need to look further spark plugs ignition coil you could swap it it could be a lot of things guys all right but this is it for now right because this is what we discovered as of now right so that is the discovery and we repaired the discovery and let's see what the outcome is here all right guys and if you're going to a mechanic that doesn't know what that he's doing if he's recommending you tune up all right if he doesn't have a scan tool not a good mechanic guys there are good mechanics out there there's people that could take good guesses but you need to know the basics all right at least uh where to look up do some little bit of research can go a long way all right what if i had recommended tune up for this guy tune up is back there i did my plugs on this car before while i did the inject uh knock sensor up here because it was open but it's a heck of a job all right nothing small but anyways this is nice and dry cold let me put this together and then we'll crack up the car all right guys look at that check engine light no longer flickering i do need to reset it don't worry about that i am gonna reset it but the car is good you see that look at the flow on the exhaust now look at the flow of it it's nice and smooth like it's supposed to be all right so that's how you fix a car if you have a check engine light guys just spend some time and diagnose the car right i am gonna put the scan tool and reset the light and it should stay off